Good morning guys, how are you doing? I know it's been two weeks since the last vlog. Like I told you guys, I'm just, I take it as it comes. The day I have energy, I have energy. The other days I just don't have. But anyway, I am Yummy Mommy. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, consider subscribing if you enjoy this video. If this is not your first time, shame on you for not already having been subscribed. But anyway, it is Monday morning. What is happening to my eye? Oh my God. What is this? Oh God. I don't know now what's happening. Anyway, it is Monday morning. It is really early. It's not yet even 8.30. Um, but I am up. Monday is usually the day that I used to rest after like taking care of my family the whole weekend. I usually use Mondays to rest. But today, I'm headed to a really, really exciting event. So there's a YouTube um, workshop that has been organized. And guess what? One of my favorite YouTubers ever on YouTube. I was about to say on Instagram. Huh? On YouTube called Dima Ume. She's a Nigerian. She's like a makeup... Um, not like a makeup she's primarily like a beauty and makeup um uh youtuber she's coming to nairobi or she's already in nairobi probably and yeah so the workshop is this morning it's at villa rosa kempinski so so bougie and i'm so excited because i haven't attended the last two youtube workshops i've been invited for my followers on instagram always asking me how come you didn't go for this workshop how come you're not invited i'm like i'm invited it's just that the energy to go where is it sis where is it um yeah but today obviously because dima Ume is there i have to go um let's hope my eye resolve itself i look like i've been bruised and battered um also under here i braided my hair looking so cute i'll show you after i have already changed so i'm just gonna go and get ready now and then um i shall return with an update hello looking more presentable now i believe i feel so cute you guys so these are my braids i got this done at kenyatta market yesterday it took such a short time by the way i think the total was like two hours if i'm not wrong for everything like wash blow dry getting braided because the braids are quite fat i did them at stall 400 cost was 2400 shillings for everything for wash blow dry for the braids and for getting braided i've been doing my hair i've been braiding my hair there since i was a kid like Except, of course, for the in-between time when I actually had dreadlocks. Anyway, I feel so cute. Look at my lashes. I love them. They were sent to me by Joanna K Cosmetics. These are in the style lash out. I love them so much. But yeah, I'm just about to leave. I'm a little bit late because it's now quarter to 10. Um, so I'm running late. But I want to... Um, I was going to to get some breakfast on the way. But I've just thought it's at Kempinski they're definitely gonna have snacks for us but I'm wondering do I want to take that chance do I want to show up to an event having not eaten is that the kind of life I'm trying to believe in actually yes it is because then I can save the money that I would have used on breakfast <laughs> anyway um I am leaving now um I'll see you guys when I get there I wonder which other youtubers are fans of Dima Ume but I'm guessing it'll be mostly women anyway um let me head out I'll see you guys somewhere along the way Okay guys, there is so much traffic. I thought it would take me like literally 20 minutes to get to Kempinski, but it's been already like 40 minutes and I'm not yet there. Um, I am wishing that I had carried something to eat from the house because I'm so hungry. I hate feeling hungry. It's literally my least favorite sensation to feel. I would rather feel pain, I would rather feel sadness, I would rather feel heartbreak than feel hunger i just feel like when i'm hungry i just feel like i can't function as a human being and i'm unlikable and i'm mean to people and i'm snappy and i'm upset i'm just so hungry i'm just so hungry anyway i'm hoping that when i get there there's food if there's no food i just want like a nice yummy cup of coffee a small one and um like i don't know a piece of cake maybe or some samosas i don't know i'm just so hungry but in the meantime i'm trying to keep myself busy in the car so when i'm in traffic made only as a mom you have to do things like on the move so i have my shopping list which my house help has sent me which my house help wrote for me rather all these things that i need to buy i usually do grocery shopping on monday mornings because i feel like that's when like i want the stuff to be for that new week so i usually do my shopping online and you know what's really really awesome is that um every single online platform that i have i have linked my standard chartered um debit card to it which makes it so easy for me to do shopping literally anywhere i know you can do this with literally any debit card but i love the fact that i can do it with my stand chart because i can actually see like where the money has moved how the money has moved i can check it from my account i can check from the app that i'm shopping on which just makes it so convenient standard chartered is just the one like if you guys are not already on stand chart just go to the link in my description box 
and just click it and just download and the best part by the way about opening a standard chartered account online using their mobile application is that you can literally do everything from your phone you don't need to go to the bank so once you download the app you can open an account straight from your phone you can apply for your debit card or your credit card or your checkbook straight from your phone you literally do not have to go to the bank they will send everything to you they will send people to you if you need to sign any document it's fantastic actually the only thing we've needed to go to the bank for Zach and I has been um, opening a joint account because you can't open a joint account from the um, app unfortunately but you can um, do it from their branch my god guys my lashes are looking so bomb Ay! Joanna K major Rebo anyway um, let's just keep um, snailing our way through traffic I'm gonna do my shopping now um, and then yeah let's hope we get there soon Event is done, guys. I'm headed to my car. This is me. Wow, wow. Hi, guys. I'm back in my car now. The event was fantastic. It is currently 2:45. So, why does my car always do this? Whenever I'm speaking, is when it decides to start speaking. Anyway, um, the event was fantastic. I learned so much. Dima Ume is just such an amazing person. And the panelists were phenomenal. Kinan Jugush and Kabiwa Jesus and Kangai, they were all amazing. I got to hang out with Patricia Kihoro and Joanna Kinudia. I was like, thanks babe for the lashes. I'm lashing it out. Literally, these lashes are called lash out. Anyway, that was really, really awesome. I really enjoyed that. Um, yeah, and I've learned quite a bit. YouTube, in case you guys didn't know, for those who don't know, YouTube is my full-time job. Like, or rather, let me rephrase that. Social media is my full-time job. So being a content creator, social media influencing, and now being a TV host, obviously, is um, uh, my other job. But my core job is actually social media. So things like this really, really help me in terms of like positioning myself and knowing what to do, knowing what not to do, and how to... Um, just how to to uh you know like take my channel to the next level so in case i don't say it enough i appreciate you guys because it's because of you that i actually have a job um but yeah i'm done i don't think i have anything else that i needed to do my nose is so shiny i should powder it um but yeah i'm gonna leave kempinski i was supposed to pick something in westland but i don't think i have enough time to pick it but let me actually just see if i'll be able to pick it um but yeah i'll catch up with you guys along the way I'm back home guys um <laughs> the funny thing in pregnancy is how quickly you lose energy like as I was driving out of Kempinski I was just like actually I'm really tired and I want to go home and take a nap let me tell you having braids is all fun and games but you literally cannot sleep that fast night like last night guys I could barely sleep and the thing is that before when I would do braids when I'm not pregnant it's easy because I can just like lie on my stomach so I don't have to lie on my head but obviously I can't now because I am pregnant so I could not lie on my stomach I could barely lie on my head like it was so painful so I didn't really sleep that well last night so I am happy to be home now I actually just want to um go into the house and take a nap i'm recording this outside because i think mukeni is taking a nap right now but um i'm gonna go in and take a nap um youtube gave us some goodie bags there's a really really beautiful tote in here i don't know if i can show you just a second just a second guys okay so this is what it looks like it's like a really long it's such a beautiful beautiful color a beautiful tote bag thank you youtube i really appreciate this um also i get asked sometimes by smaller youtubers like how do you get to come go for these events these youtube workshops usually it's just about the growth of your channel so like if you as your channel gets bigger youtube takes notice of you and they invite you to these um events not actually like there's a place you can go and apply they'll actually invite you but anyway yeah i'm home now just gonna go up and chill um yeah i'll fill you in on what i do later if i do anything um but i'm likely to not do anything because i'm just a pregnant mother who just needs to rest um but yeah let's see how the day goes good morning guys it is the next morning now 
um yesterday after we last spoke i think what ended up happening is that i i took a really long nap and then um at some point mukeni woke up so i ended up waking up and then we just hung out hung out hung out zach came home in the evening ethan is not with us this month he's at his other dad's place but um we miss him he's coming back in december so we can't wait um yeah but we just chilled and then my camera was just upstairs so i didn't even um manage to film anything but anyway it is the next morning now say um actually no i woke up a little bit earlier on when uh zach was going to take mukeni to school it's such a drastic change seeing me like this after yesterday i was looking so awesome so, you know, i literally woke up like this guys this is like how i wake up i have my thing on my head and this is how my face looks anyway um yeah so now it is tuesday morning it is around 8 30 a.m i've just gotten up um well i'm not really gotten up i'm not going out of bed but um zach has taken kenzo to school and um i have a cool day planned today so in the morning my photographer shem is coming over we are going to take some pictures um because i need some pictures for my instagram so he's gonna come over so we can take some pictures and then later on i have a meeting with the event lady who's planning my baby shower which is so exciting i'll give you guys more details about that very soon because um you're all pretty much invited <laughs> And then in the afternoon, around 4 p.m., I've been invited for a food tasting at this restaurant called Honey and Dough. I don't know if any of you have heard of it or been to it, but I've seen so many amazing reviews and I haven't actually gotten a chance to visit it. So I'm really excited to go. I'm going with my bestie kit. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, but yeah, so right now it's 8.30. The photographer is coming at 10, so I need to get up so that I can um, shower and change and eat breakfast in 30 minutes, do my makeup for 5 minutes, choose my outfits in 15 minutes, and then it'll be 10 a.m. and it'll be time for the photo shoot. So let me get up before um, I waste any more time. Yeah, let me do that. <laughs> This is always me before a photo shoot. I'm like trying to pick out four outfits that I will wear through the shoot. I have this cute African dress. I'll wear that. A pineapple dress. One sweater and tights combo. And then I'm trying to decide on the fourth outfit I will wear. Ugh, it's not like I have that many choices, guys. It's not like I have that many choices. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, at least I'm showered. I'm changed. My hair is looking so cute. So cute. That's why I thought to have the photo shoot today because I'm like, I don't know when next I'll be feeling this cute. So that trimester is just is a bitch. So yeah, gonna try and pick out um a fourth outfit for the shoot. And then I'm gonna go have a quick breakfast. It's now 9 a.m. So I need to start getting my makeup done by myself because these days guys I am self-sufficient. I do my own makeup. Gonna start doing my makeup so by 10 when the photographer gets here, I'm ready. I'm also here picking my jewelry the better prepared you are before the shoot the faster the shoot will go and may i want like 30 minutes maximum so i have like studs i have some dangly earrings and some um chains yeah anyway i'm gonna go and get some breakfast and then i see i then i come and do my makeup not i see i come and do my makeup <laughs> I've got my breakfast this has been one of my favorite break break breakfast great breakfast breakfast lately in guache and eggs i'm panting because i just walked up the stairs my god and then i've just been obsessed with hot and sweet sauce so guache eggs hot and sweet sauce yummy guys i am ready oh my god i feel so cute i can't believe that i have actually learned how to do my makeup like by myself i'm so pleased with myself I'm loving this lip gloss. This is Huda Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade, I think, Glam Doll or something like that. Anyway, my photographer is waiting downstairs. So let me go. But I just wanted to show you how cute I'm looking. This is my first outfit. It's a dress which, if you watch Ibru Let's Talk, you've seen me wear before. But yeah, this is me now. <laughs> okay, so this was the second makeup look. I just changed my lip. I love this. This is an NYX gloss. Hey! Let me catch my breath. Anyway, we've done two outfits. This one was just a sweater and tights. Now I'm changing into a third outfit and then we shall go and shoot outside. 
okay this is my third look okay I'm not liking my hair like this let me change it I think I'll do something I like it when it's down I feel so glam god okay guys shoot is done I feel so good I am a little bit tired I can't believe that when I'm not pregnant I can actually do a whole shoot for like an hour and not feel tired right now I'm feeling so tired but this is how I'm looking I'm feeling cute I'm in a maxi dress I got this from a shop called high style on Instagram I'll tag them below um, yeah but I'm now done I am heading to or rather I'm waiting for the photographer to download the pictures I usually like to edit my pictures myself so when he finishes shooting he just downloads them immediately and just sends the sends them to me which is fantastic um, but yeah so I'm done with that I feel really accomplished because I haven't had a shoot in a really long time so my Instagram has really been suffering so I'm really excited to actually have some really nice pictures I'm heading to Galleria now to meet the event planner for my shoot Ah, for my baby shower <laughs> um yeah hope that goes well let me see you guys somewhere along the way i don't think i'll change i'm super comfortable so i'm just going to tidy up because this is what my bed is looking like after i did my makeup i didn't even have time to clean up so let me clean this up real quick and then head to galleria hey guys um so i am in the car now i have just met with the event planners the guys planning my event are called agn events please they are the best you need to find them on instagram and follow them because they're amazing um so they have two pages adrian events and there's another one called e elegance luxury events um so they're putting together a really amazing elegant baby shower for me guys and i can't wait so we've just met at galleria and now we are headed to um to some place in kilimani which is the location for the baby shower uh just going to check it out to make sure it's going to be all set for the day and yeah i'm so excited I'm so excited like before I wasn't so excited because I was thinking about the stress of planning my own baby shower because I didn't want anyone else to plan my last ever baby shower maybe because hopefully this is our last child but I didn't want like anyone else to plan it because I wanted it very very specifically how I want it to be so yeah before I was like kind of stressed about it that's why I've like put it off till literally the last minute till just before the baby shower but now I am um, really excited because they really have everything under control having an event planner is amazing because you don't literally have to think about all the nitty-gritties of everything that's going to happen on that day you just have to tell them what you want and they do it for you so yes we're almost in Kilimani I was drinking a strawberry lemonade which is was so good it was so cold so yummy um, which is done now but yeah going there I'm gonna show you guys the grounds once we get there um, yeah I feel so cute today man Yes, you tried, you tried. Maybe this lash is coming out. get measured for my baby shower dress I'll show you how it goes we are really winning today guys we are winning so I have gotten uh, measured for my dress these guys are gonna make me the most beautiful dress 
I can't wait. I was just like, I want to feel like a princess. I want to feel really extravagant. I want like the most extra baby shower dress of all time, guys. Honestly, if this is my last baby, I want the baby shower to be... I just want it to be fantastic. Anyway, I've done that. And then I've also gotten the fabric for um, a baby bed that I am getting made for baby M, which is fantastic. Guys, don't worry. My next video will be a gender reveal, I promise. Um, but yeah, so I've gotten the fabric. I'm going to go take it to the guys who are making the baby bed um yeah and that's it i am now going to head to yeah i'm gonna head to the place where they do the moses basket give it to them so they can incorporate it and then i need to head to the event i think i told you guys i'm going for an event this afternoon at a, at a restaurant called honey and dough so i'm headed there um the event starts at four i'm meeting kit there so i don't want to be late because she's always on time for everything um, yeah but i can't believe my makeup is holding on quite well i keep getting compliments my last year though is just trying to play games with me but generally feeling good feeling cute yeah okay bye <laughs> okay so i have gotten to um honey and dough guys i don't know what i am more i'm so pressed but i'm also so hungry but i'm also kind of tired but not really tired like tired like the kind like i'm just really hungry i'm sure when i eat i'll be feeling better but anyway i'm just powdering my nose this is the powder i use revlon color stay it's in the shade caramel one so i'm just powdering i got this brush from Du Bois. my lips still look kind of fresh so it's just the shine around my mouth that i'm trying to get rid of let me know by the way if you'd like me to do a whole get ready with me in the car like these days guys my makeup is popping popping anyway let me head up my face looks good um kit has been here already from like 3 45 she's always on time for everything like she's always early not even on time early so let me head up um i'll see you guys when i'm in there this is my full outfit I'm just clad in pineapples. Yay! taken off my lashes and I'm with Kenzo say hi <laughs> say hi mama you're gonna hurt yourself mommy you're gonna get hurt <sighs> what are you doing she's doing some form of acrobatics wow. I don't know mommy. yes yes wow wow say hi guys hi guys oh good girl <laughs> ah. Mom. yes Hi. Okay, calm down. I don't want you to get hurt. Okay. I'm so tired. Just gonna take off my makeup and hang out with this little cuddle bug. Good morning, guys. Another morning. Another swollen face. I know it must be so confusing to you guys. Like, you watch a video. One minute I'm looking stunning. The next minute I look like Shrek. I know it's really tough. But, you know what can we do anyway i've just woken up it is now wednesday 
morning is it wednesday morning yeah it is wednesday morning um and i actually i'm coming on to end the vlog because i didn't manage to do it last night last night when i got back home by the way after the tasting event after i was playing with mukeni when i showed you guys i was so tired like i'm not used to having a whole day where i have like activity after activity after activity so i was really really tired when i got home um yeah so i slept pretty early um but it was really nice hi plum plum Hi, you're doing what? Doodle. Okay, how are you? <laughs> are you hiding? <laughs> she is ready for school. Zach um is just he's downstairs taking a shower, so he's gonna um come up and change and then take her to school. So she's ready for school. But I'm going to end the vlog here. I just wanted to mention if you are interested in attending my baby shower, please follow me on instagram because i'm going to announce later on today i think um how you can actually attend my baby show so please follow me on instagram at yamimami.ke i would really appreciate it plus you'll get to find out how you can attend my baby shower which would be fantastic because i'd love to meet you yeah i think that's it thank you so much for watching this vlog don't forget to subscribe before you leave i will see you in my next video bye